Welcome to another episode of Winlater 101. Today I will be showing you how to fix audio in most games. I will be using the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition as an example, as this is one of the games that has been reported quite often recently as not containing audio right off the bat. I will also be using Long Jung Yu's Winlater GLibc mod 7.1.2, but the solution should be the same on other versions. Enjoy the video. I don't know about you, but I enjoy audio and cutscenes as much as the next person. A game is just so much less immersive without them. I honestly can't understand how people can't play without them. I don't know, I guess I'm just a man of culture. Anyways, as you just saw, Skyrim, when installed on Winlater without its dependencies or any kind of fixes, the sounds and music will be missing. This is how you can fix it for most games out there. Download DirectX 10 through the link in the description and pinned comments of the video. Place it somewhere you can easily find it in WinLater. Launch your container. Install Mono. This is needed to be able to launch installers. After this is done, let's go ahead and install DirectX 10. The installer will ask where to extract all its files. Choose a suitable directory. Once this is done, navigate to the directory where the files are extracted. Scroll down until you find the setup and install it. Once it is done, we need to add a library to Wine's configuration. Go to the start menu and system tools. Tap on Wine configuration. In this window, tap the libraries tab. Tap the drop down box and scroll down until you see xaudio2 underscore 7. Tap on it and then tap on add. Finally tap apply and done. Now let's run Skyrim. The main menu's music is still missing. I'm not sure what the cause of this is, as other users have reported having music here. Picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. However, music and sounds are present in game now. Now, there is another fix that may fix other games' audio compatibility. If the X audio fix does not do it, then try Ajay's prefix patch 10.6. To install this patch, I suggest watching this video. I've placed the download link in the description and pinned comment of this video. After installing Ajay's prefix patch, you will need to install Windows Media feature. Go to the start menu and Ajay's start menu, then install or run other files and Windows Media feature pack Lite. Do note, this fix is for Pulse Audio, so make sure you switch to this in your container. Also be advised, Windows Media Feature Pack Lite conflicts with the Media Foundation patch included with Ajay's prefix. So if you previously installed this, you will have to reset your container. And that's it. I hope this video helps fix all your audio issues. If you liked this video, please subscribe to support me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.